What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video we're talking about the big news for Silver this week. What's it doing right now, and most importantly, what's it going to do next year in 2024? Let's get into it. Buy your gold and silver online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold or silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. Thank you so much for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. We are looking at the one week chart for silver. As you can see a week ago, silver was at $22.82. Currently, it is sitting at $23.86. So over the last week, silver is up around a buck, but uh, it is trending down for the day, down 14 cents. But what's the big news surrounding silver right now? One of the biggest precious metals news outlets in the country, who also deals in precious metals, has had some security issues with their website, and it's actually been down for a number of days. Their name is Kitco, and I've referenced them many times in previous videos. We can read right here, other services and online store temporarily unavailable. Our website is currently experiencing a disruption due to a cybersecurity incident. Hmm, that's a little concerning. Our team is actively working to resolve this issue as quickly as possible. We are committed to ensuring the security and integrity of our services and apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. So basically, if you try to go to any of their website links, any old articles, anything at all, you come to this page right here. And the only thing they're really offering right now is a chart for gold and a chart for silver. I suppose they have uh, some of the other precious metals as well, but they have no ability to buy products from their store, uh, no ability to read any of the old articles or anything like that. So this is really interesting that they're having a, a cybersecurity incident, as they put it. And I wonder if this is going to have an impact on the people who have actually bought from this website you know is your information going to be released i have no idea i mean they don't go into any detail and i've not been able to get any answers from them but uh, hopefully in the next few days this will be resolved and they'll actually tell us what happened i mean i'm super curious what's going on with this if you have any information definitely put it down below in the comment section silver's window of opportunity is closing with prices poised for an explosive move in 2024 that's the headline for this new market watch article which just came out a few days ago fed rate cuts next year likely will help fuel a rally in silver prices so does the green energy push silver prices could be headed for an explosive rise in 2024 if global supplies continue to fall short of demand and the Federal Reserve makes good on its plans to pivot to interest rate cuts in the coming months, according to metal market analysts. While silver this year has underperformed gold, which saw prices touch record highs this year, the opportunity to snap up silver at bargain prices may be brief. The window for buying silver in the low to mid 20s is ending, said Peter Spina, president of silver news and information provider silverseek.com it is likely that silver prices next year will be pushing up toward the major 30 an ounce technical resistance he told market watch adding that he fully believes that the price barrier will fall fed chairman jerome powell on wednesday had said officials from the central bank were starting to discuss when to cut interest rates when they do it will be a catalyst for higher gold and silver prices perhaps much higher we are in a secular bull market now this is not the bear market of 2012 to 2018 if we take a look at the new target rate probabilities over at cmegroup.com we can see at the next meeting on january 31st they're predicting that there will not be a rate cut they're predicting rates will stay right where they are 91.7 percent chance however 8.3 percent chance that rates will start falling as early as 
January, fast forward to March, this is when they're predicting the first rate cut. 63.4% chance of a rate cut in March. And then in May, they're predicting yet another rate cut will have taken place. 52.4% chance that rates will be down to 475 to 500. So it's looking like we are going to see some rate cuts early next year so the buying opportunity for silver and gold might be narrowing moving back over to the article they do talk about silver demand in the coming years so the report from the silver institute showed that global industrial demand for silver is expected to grow by eight percent to a record 632 million ounces this year buoyed by investment in photovoltaics used in solar energy, power grid, and 5G networks, growth in consumer electronics, and rising vehicle output. The report showed 2023 global silver supply estimated at about 1 billion ounces, while total demand is seen at a larger 1.143 billion ounces. Metals Focus said it believes the deficit will persist in the silver market for the foreseeable future the only last big driver missing for silver prices to explode is investor interest said spina keep in mind that silver is a precious green metal he said it benefits from strong growth in mandated green energy demand which will continue to push industrial demand to fresh records he expects silver prices to re-challenge 30 dollars an ounce within the coming months if not sooner watch gold prices for the initial direction he said if the gold price is moving to record price highs in the coming weeks Silver is in the perfect setup to test $30 with a likely breakout to $50 an ounce coming in 2024. Wow, that is an incredibly bullish prediction. Now, I personally don't see silver moving that high that fast, but if it does, man, prices right now certainly do look like a great buying opportunity. We are nearing the end of the year and we've seen a lot of volatility for silver. We saw it go all the way down to $20 an ounce in March all the way up to $26 an ounce in May. However, if we were to end right now, it's very close to where we started the year at, $24.10. So lots of volatility. However, silver did not make any big moves this year. Gold definitely made some big moves. It hit a new all-time high for intraday price trading. But uh, I think next year is going to be the big one because those Fed rate cuts are just so bullish for metals. They're bad for the dollar, and silver typically does the opposite of whatever the dollar does. So if the dollar goes down next year, I definitely see silver moving much higher. Feel free to put your price predictions down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.